Welcome to the CCH Access Practice video series. In this video we'll show you how to use the Staff Time Allowance pane. Staff Time Allowance gives your firm staff more power, flexibility, and visibility in managing their time and resources while allowing them to track their own budget to actual details for work classes such as vacation or sick time. Let's go ahead and get started and show you how to set this up. The first step before we add will be to make sure that you have your service code classes set up. Under practice list, you can set up the service code classes for your firm. In this example, you can see we have sick, vacation, volunteer, CPE, banked hours, any class label that you would like for your firm. You can go ahead and set it up here. The second step is to associate the service code class with your service codes. You would do that here under service codes. If you click new, you'll go through the steps to set up your service code. Input your service code ID and service code name. You can assign the appropriate category, subcategory, whether it's billable or non-billable. And then down at the bottom, there is the class drop-down. Whichever class you select here will be the class that you want to use. Under which the hours show in the staff time allowance pane. The third step is to set the allowance at the employee level. If you open your staff and under practice come to time capture. This is where you will set your allowances up. You can see for this employee, there is a 15 hour allowance for CPE, 40 for vacation for full time employee, and 20.5 hours for sick time for full time employee. Once you have all of that set up, your staff can begin adding classes to their pane to track their time. We'll go back to the home dashboard and in any available pane or column you can right click and choose to add a pane. Click the content drop down and choose staff time allowance and click OK. By default, none of the classes will be selected. To select a class, click the drop down and choose a class. We'll choose vacation or you can simply start typing and it will pull up the list and check the one that I want. And you can see, we've added two classes, one for vacation, one for sick. The dark blue portion is the remaining portion of the allowance. The light blue is the used portion. It indicates the hours for each portion as well. You can see in the bottom example that the employee has not used any of their hours. In the top portion, the employee has used 24 of the 40 hours. To see the individual transactions that make up the 24 hours. Simply click into the use portion and it will load a table view with the allowance and availability, but it will also show you the detailed transactions that make up the use portion for that employee. These are based on the calendar year or fiscal year that your firm has set up under settings. If you would like to go back to the pie chart view, you can simply click back. If you would like to see all of the allowances in a table view, you can click the table view icon. And it will change them over to a table view. You can open them up and see the individual transactions that make those up. If you'd like to go back to a pie chart view, simply click the pie chart view. Again, if you want to see just one classes, individual transactions, you can click that portion there. We'll go ahead and add in a third class CPE. It puts up a scroll bar for you and this employees use two hours of that. The pane will adjust as you move. Back like this as well. If you prefer vertical, you can also scroll up and down. The choices that you make here will persist between sessions. If you log out of access and log back in and reselect the home dashboard, it will retain the classes that you have selected.